Hello, I'm Ben. I'm the developer of Intergalactic Fishing. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the basics of the game and give you a demonstration of some of the gameplay. This will sort of be like a tutorial meets Let's Play meets developer commentary, I guess. So first, a little bit about the game. Uh, Intergalactic Fishing is a fishing RPG where you play as an angler who's trying to solve the mystery of what is causing the fish to die in your local lake, your home lake. Uh, you'll start in your home lake of Ankabo Lake, which is where I am now. You have your buoyant object for above water travel, or boat, which you can see here. This is a high-tech evolution of a standard fishing boat. Uh, your boat is a half-spherical water vessel uh, with several underwater jets that allow it to move across the surface in any direction. Uh, as you can see, this one is a little bit slow. This is just a starter boat. And as you play, you'll be able to upgrade and get better boats. Uh, in your boat, you have a few slots for rods. This particular boat just has one slot, and I've just got the starter rod there, so that'll probably be a priority in upgrading that That's to start with. You have a few live well slots, uh, which can store fish. You have a lure fabricator, which can store a certain number of lure designs and create them for you on demand. And you'll have several terminals, which you can install different modules into that allow you to do something special or improve your boat in some way. Uh, but most importantly, you've got a universal lake teleporter. Um, the universal lake teleporter allows you to teleport to lakes all over the universe. A company called Altcorp created the universal lake teleporter and runs a network of 65 lakes all over the universe uh, that you'll be able to travel to once you finish your license test, which is kind of the first thing you do. It's just kind of like the tutorial. Uh, so from the very beginning, you'll be able to go to any of these 65 lakes. Uh, so those are the basics of the game. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is go talk to the mayor of Ankabo. He's at this dock here. Uh, local gr a group of local business owners have enlisted us to try to figure out what is going on with the fish in the lake, what's causing them to die. And the mayor is sort of our point of contact, so we'll go ahead and talk to him. This is the very beginning of the main quest line. I'm just going to do the first stage of it. So, as you can see, he doesn't have a clear uh, vision of what he wants us to do. And he really doesn't even think that highly of us. But the first thing he wants us to do is go to uh, Lackwear Lagoon and catch four fish. He wants us to bring them back here and uh, see if they can live in our lake. And he's giving us a little bit more uh, information. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Uh, we'll travel to um, Lackwear Lagoon, as you can see in the list here. We can also access it from the quest tracker here. So we'll go ahead and travel there. Now our objective is just to catch any four fish in the lake, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, we don't need any specific species or anything. Uh, we can see another angler here. We might see if they can give us any information about what's in this lake. Uh, but it looks like they don't really know anything, so that's not going to be very helpful. We know the, the names of the species in the lake. This is a populated lake, and I know lots of people fish here, so it's kind of common knowledge. We just don't know anything about how to catch these fish, so you can see all this information is blank. Um, we do know the lake records, so if we are somehow able to catch a large fish, then you know we could possibly set a lake record, but I don't expect that will happen. And we can see another angler just teleported in over here, so we can see if they know anything about the fish in this lake also. Looks like he's tying on a new lure. Uh, he's caught a few route, uh, and they seem to get pretty big when fully grown, so that's, that's something. Um, we can now see the route. We have information about its full grown size, so we know that it gets pretty big, so that might be a, a good fish to try to catch. So we're going to move down here on the coast and 
start fishing. So the way you fish, um, you click to cast, and this indicator here will show you what your lure is doing. This is your, the amount of resistance you're feeling on the line. This is kind of where your lure, where you can tell your lure is, whether it's you know rising or falling or on the bottom. And you can see there we've got some resistance, so it looks like a fish is on. I right click to set the hook, um, and we're kind of fighting with it here. And we get into the boat. Looks like a burr fish, pretty good size, almost five pounds. Um, and you know we we need any four fish. So we'll definitely take it. Fish down here in this little area of vegetation. And there's another one. So we're having some luck here. This one looks to be a little bit larger. Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult to get in, especially with my terrible rod. That's a ghostal fish. Also a little over five pounds. So we'll keep fishing. We need two more. There's one. This one's pulling down pretty hard. Another birdfish. 4.4 pounds. And I just noticed this ghostal fish is worth a lot of money. So we'll have to keep that in mind if we need to make some money, which we which we will. So we're having some pretty good luck here. I'll have to remember this spot. And this is another large one, it's hard to get in. Oh. Okay, so that one broke off. That's not great. That's why I definitely need to focus on getting a better ride. We can see some resistance. Set the hook, and this one seems to be a little bit smaller. So that's the Perkaby, just over a pound. Okay, so that's four fish. As we can see, we just need to bring them back to the mayor of Ankabo, so we'll go ahead and travel back there. And here we are back at Ankabo Lake. Um, we could go over there, or we can, if you've been to a dock before, then it'll show up on your local docks, uh, so you can quickly just teleport over there. So we've got our four fish here. And he wants to just, just throw them in the water and see what happens. <laughs> and he's pretty confident that that'll work. And of course it doesn't. Okay, now he's telling us we should go talk to a real scientist, Dr. Matthews at Vincent Pond. And that'll be the next stage, um, but we're not going to do that right now. What we want to do right now is focus on upgrading this rod. So we saw that ghostal fish was worth, was worth quite a bit. We're going to head back to Lackaware Lagoon. Let's see if we can catch some of those. So we can take a look at our fish journal. Um, we have only caught one ghostal fish and we don't know anything about it. Um, we can go to where we caught it in, in hopes of catching another one. Maybe we can learn some more information. As you catch fish and as you dissect fish, this bar will increase and each threshold will give you a piece of information about that species so that you can try to target that species more. We only have really one piece of information uh, and it's about the burfish and we know it's feeding cycle so right now it's in a state of normal feeding activity. Uh, in these green areas it'll be more likely to bite because it's um, they're fe actively feeding. So I'm gonna head over here Try to catch some more fish. There's one. And 
that's another burfish. Seem to be having an easy time catching those. That's a pretty good size one though, so it's not worthless. Um, so one thing you can do if you want to learn more about this species, you can dissect the fish. You'll lose the fish, obviously, but your bar will increase by quite a bit. And as you can see, we've got two more pieces of information. So we know that the burfish likes particularly bright lures, um, and they like the lure to be stationary. So these are pieces of information that you can use when fishing to try to target certain species. We're gonna head back here because we had a lot of luck here. Yeah, this is a good spot. And it looks like pretty good size ones. Pulling pretty hard. Hopefully, it's a ghostal fish. Yeah. Yeah, we really need to get a better, better setup. That's a new one. It's a sallow. It's not. It's pretty good. Eleven credits. We could sell that. a fighter. Perkabee. That's good too. 19 credits. So we're going to go ahead and catch two more then we're going to go try to find a place to sell them. That guy did took one look and thought he didn't want to fish here. Okay, great. Oh wow. Seven pound ghostal fish. Forty six credits. That's great. That'll be enough. With our current fifty credits. We'll be able to buy a pretty decent rod to start with. So we got one more here. And it's another bird fish worth a measly two credits. Okay. Um, this shows us where the docks are in the lake. Uh, every lake has a Alt Corp dock, um, and you can quickly teleport there with your local teleport. They have an equipment shop, so you can buy these special Alt Corp modules, um, as well as a fish market, which is what we're looking for. So, I'm just going to sell all these fish. 78 credits. Now we're up to 128. Um, so now we need to go find a, a new rod. And I happen to know that they sell rods at my home lake. So we're going to head back to Ankabo and head down to the south here. I believe this guy sells rods. Yeah, okay, so, looks like, uh, looks like this one is in our budget. This will be a pretty good starter one to start with. We're going to get rid of this one and purchase an Atume EF. Thanks, Al. So now you can see got a new rod here. This one will cast a lot further than the one we had. And I think that's, uh, that's where we'll stop this first one. Next time we will go do a, a fish contract. So we, we need to buy a fish contract module from Old Corp and that, that'll allow us to accept fish contracts where we have a certain species and a certain lake and it has to be a certain size so we have to go to that lake and catch that fish. So thanks for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video.